All right, we're back here now with Jason McClung from Summersville, West Virginia. He handles the front desk at a, at a motel in Summersville. It's a town of around 3,000 people just outside of uh, Charleston. Right. First time in New York City. Yes. Yeah. Impressions? It's hectic, huge, wild, <laughs> untamed. What, what have you seen? Oh. Where'd I've you go today? Well, um, yes, well, we went to, uh, there was like an arts and craft festival near the hotel, and that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And we're planning on going before we leave to... Uh, to Times Square. Uh huh. Good yeah. for you. A lot All of right. people well, have told me. Hope that, you see as much yeah. of the town as you can. Yeah. And have your folks been to New York? No. Yeah. First time. So, and, and your mom, I don't think, has ever been on an airplane before, as you have, indeed. Right. And what was that like, Ezra? It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. No. I actually enjoyed it, but it's not something I'd want to do all the time. Yeah, well, you got one more ride going home. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about that. Tell me about your son. What do you think? Oh, he's. He's doing really well. We're really proud of him. Does he have any faults at all? No, I, don't, I can't think of any. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mom looking for the big payday here. <laughs> and you're doing very well. You won $32,000. Yours to keep, my man. So why don't we do it? Let's go for 64000 right now. Five away from a million. Let's play. <laughs> here it is for $64,000. According to the U.S. Constitution, who is currently second in line of presidential succession? Second in line. Janet Reno? Madeleine Albright? Strom Thurmond? Dennis Hastert? these people hold right now? Um, I know, I'm pretty sure of three of them. Well, why don't we talk about them? Okay. Janet Reno is the Attorney General, I think. Madeline Albright and Strom, Strom Thurmond is, is he a congressman from South Carolina? Or, and I've, I've heard of the name of Dennis Astert, but I'm not sure who he is. Did we say what Madeleine Albright does? I know, but I can't, I can't think of the title. Uh-huh. Well, second in line of presidential succession. I'd like to use my 50-50. Why don't we do that? Good idea. All right, computer, take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the right one. Well, so it's Madeleine Albright, Dennis Hastert. <laughs> I think I'm going to guess Dennis ha Hastert. The Do you know who he is? Did you ever hear the name? I've heard of the name, but I don't. I don't think it would be Madeline Albright. I, I'm just leaning away from her for some reason. Don't want to call anybody. No, I think I'll go with the D, Dennis Hastert. Final answer. Final. My gosh, he got it right, Dennis Hester. <laughs> yes, he is the Speaker of the House, and he would be the second in line. $64,000. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Going for $125,000. Four away from a million. Overwhelming, and you still have a you can you can you can call room thirty two at the hotel and just <laughs> see who's there. Yeah. All right. Ready to go for one hundred twenty five thousand? Yes. All right, Jason. Here we go. One hundred twenty five thousand, four away from a million. For the past ten years, the male winner of the Boston Marathon has hailed from what country? Kenya, Germany, South Africa, Ghana. Usually follow the Boston Marathon. I think I'll phone a friend. Alrighty. I'd like to call Jeff. Jeff, a uh, sports fan? Uh, I think so, yes. Alright, good. Let's get Jeff on the line, AT&T. We need some help right now. Hello? 
Hello, Jeff. Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Regis? Very good. I'm here with your pal, Jason. Right. And he needs a little help. He's going for $125,000. Cool. Looks like you're the guy. I'll do my best. All right, good. When he gets on the line, he'll read you a, a question and two possible answers. I'm sorry, make that four. Okay, four. Sure. One of them's the right answer. All yours, Jason, 30 seconds. For the past 10 years, the male winner of the Boston Marathon has hailed from what country? Kenya, Germany, South Africa, or Ghana? Could you repeat the answers again? Kenya, Germany, South Africa, or Ghana? Five seconds. Think in Kenya, but it's just a guess. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> said it was just a guess. Right. I don't think it's Germany. Let's go over them. You don't think it's Germany? I don't think it's Germany. It seems like I heard something about this in the news recently. It seemed like they were from Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, we have uh, three countries from Africa here. Kenya, South Africa, Ghana. I'm going between Kenya and South Africa. I'm going to go with Kenya. Want to make it your final answer? Final answer. Just won $125,000. Wow, your mother's tearing up back there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, my man, we're going for a quarter million dollars right now, $250,000, but all the lifelines are gone. So this is going to be brute Jason McClung. Three away from a million for a quarter million. Here it is. Alcatraz Island was named after what birds which first inhabited the island? Puffins? Swallows? Pelicans, seagulls. I haven't the foggiest idea. You would lose 93 if you guessed and missed. On the other hand, you'd get that quarter million. Mm -hmm. well, I think I'm going to take the money. I'm going to stop. Going to walk? I'm going to walk. Final decision? Final decision. Want to take a guess in here? I would guess seagulls. If one seagull is the Pelicans is uh, the right answer. Anyway, you got $125,000. Jason, thanks very Thank much. You. And good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Good guy. Well, you probably know Alcatraz is Spanish for Pelican. But I don't think Jason cares too much about that. $125,000 richer. Good for him. Now we still have eight more contestants ready to go. So here's the next fastest finger question. Put these U.S. Supreme Court associate justices in the order they were appointed, starting with the earliest. David Suter, Stephen Breyer, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, John Paul Stevens. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest justice. There it is, John Paul Stevens, then David Souter, then Ruth Bader Ginsburg, finally Stephen Breyer. That's the right order. Who did it in the fastest time? The winner, Craig Norris. Hey, Craig. Congratulations, Greg. Thank you. Where are you from? From Edmonds, Washington. Edmonds, Washington. What do you do? Well, I am a human resources recruiter, uh, currently in between jobs. Ah, okay, so fine. So anyone out there in Seattle who needs a recruiter? And maybe you won't need a job after this. Who well, knows? that's what I came here for. <laughs> okay. All right, Craig, uh, we're running out of time, so we'll get started right now. You know about the rules, of course. You know about the lifelines. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> 
for $100, according to a popular saying, when the going gets tough, the tough do what? Eat chocolate, get going, go to sleep, cry. Well, I'm ready to go to sleep, but I'm gonna have to go with B, the tough get going. Yes, they do, they get going, you're right. $200. What celebrity is nicknamed the Donald? Sam Donaldson, Don King, Donald Trump, Donald Duck. The Donald would be C, Donald Trump. Yes, indeed, it is Donald Trump. Oh, my gosh, well, there it is. That uh, means that we are out of time for tonight, but Craig will be back here on Thursday night, and joining him will be 10 new contestants who have flown in from all over the country. And they are... Brent Jones, Rob Walker, Debbie Gaten, Jason Carlisle, David Swanson, Kathy Seeger, Todd Creekmore, Don Peters, Jim Temper, and Nancy Lee Jensen. In another huge night around here, we're just giving away $1,125,000. And I gotta tell you, we're feeling pretty good about that right now. We'll see you back here with Craig Norris Thursday night at 9, 8 Central. Stay with ABC now. Donna and Greg is next from New York, everybody. Good night.